she a freak, she a dancer. Bounce it like it's elastic. Go on, break it down real low. Go ahead, break it down real low. Go ahead, break it down real low. Go. She a freak, she a dancer. Bounce it like it's elastic. Okay, I woke up this morning on BS, on complete BS, on complete BS, on the BS, on the BS. And, and so I know that this morning's reading is going to be about money. Now, I've said in past readings that these readings, that divination cannot focus on the literal, physical attaining of money but spirit woke me up this morning on bs so apparently um i'm being corrected this morning because i don't know something's going on something's going on something's going on something is going on in the uh in the ethers here something's going on so we're about to find out we're being called to a meeting Okay, so let's get these major arcana out so we can pick our piles. Bounce it like it's elastic and go ahead and break it down real low. Go ahead and break it down real low. Go ahead and break it down real low. Oh. Um, so apparently we're breaking it down really low today. That's the message. Break it down really low. The message is break it down really low. Hey Siri. She's a freak. She's a dancer. Bounce it like it's elastic. Go ahead, break it down real low. Go ahead and break it down real low. You know, I always think of tarot, tarot cards as money. As much as I like to say that um, that we can't determine or that it's very, it's very difficult to determine um, actual four-dimensional occurrences um, using divination, they do feel like money in my hand often. Um, this just seems off to me. Why does this just seem so off? I'm sorry. I'm a little, I'm a little out of touch this morning. Um, but let's just go ahead and do this. Every day, every day, every day I tell you, one, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, one. Who is it today? Who is it today? Bust it down like elastic and going ahead and break it oh it's the empress today hmm seems fitting seems fitting all right give me give me some piles give me some piles give me some piles this morning i'll take that one i'll take that and i'll take that and I, and I'll be that. And I'll be that. Uh oh. <laughs> ah! And we have pile two. Spirit, that's all I'm going to be called to this morning. Come on, please. Come on. 
Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Ain't no way. Come on now. Break it down like it's elastic. Go on ahead and break it down real low. Go on ahead and break it down real low. Go ahead and listen to Elastic by Joey Kirk. Because that's what it's giving this morning. It's giving that Elastic Joey Kirk. And it's giving RuPaul Catwalk. And it's giving money, 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 money. Money. Okay. This is pile one. This is pile two. This is pile three. Pile one. And a two. And a three. One, two, three. Uh, pile one. The Wheel of Fortune. Fitting! I ain't even gonna hold y'all. I'm depleted today. I feel like we on the way to the bank, but I feel like I'm depleted on my way to the bank, okay? I'm motherfucking tired. Tired. Pile number two. The Emperor. Come on. We're very, we're very wealthy today. And pile number three. The Hierophant. We're back to Rock Nation. Rock Nation stay in our even. Rock Nation stays in the leaving. Do you know what I say? Stay in the leaving. She stays at the mid-summer table. You got pile one, the Wheel of Fortune, pile two, the Emperor, pile three, the Hierophant. Pile one is Wheel of Fortune. And all I'm hearing is Wheel of Fortune. And this gotta be Vanna White. So pile one, if you recently watched Wheel of Fortune, you recently discussed Wheel of Fortune, you recently discussed fortunes or heard about fortunes, watched some YouTube videos about fortunes, I'm hearing Fortune 500, um, I'm hearing money, 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 I'm hearing big business, I'm hearing Wall Street, I'm hearing, I'm hearing um, Forbes, that's a lot of brown children on your Forbes list, I'm hearing um, foreign cars, I'm hearing super side, su suicide doors and Lamborghinis, I wonder if that's you. If, if, if you just came across anything that I just said. I see 444. I see dollar sign, dollar sign, dollar sign. I see 777. Go ahead and drop it down real low for, for number one. For pile number one, Will of Fortune. Pile number two, The Emperor. I'm hearing... I'm hearing uh, for my Game of Thrones fans. I'm hearing um, I'm hearing Baratheon. Um, I'm hearing they're saying it's a specific Baratheon. It's not Stannis. It's the other Baratheon. Not Stannis, but Lil Bro. I think it was Rob. Whichever one was the Humsesha, um, Baratheon, Little Baratheon, not Stannis Baratheon's uh, ignorant ass, but the younger Baratheon. I'm hearing Baratheon family in general, but specifically the um, the I'm hearing I'm hearing Marjorie. Um, is given very house of the Brat house of Baratheon, the best of the Baratheons. I'm hearing um oh what's oh girl um um 
Baratheon's um, head of the Night's Guard. Um, Baratheon's um, uh, Night's Guard. Brienne. I'm hearing Brienne. Um, I'm hearing Sapphire Isle. So it's giving very Baratheon. Hey, look at that. That may be a sapphire right there on his scepter. And also you have the antlers. So if you know the vibe, if you know the astrology behind the house of Baratheon, if you've been watching Game of Thrones, um, if you have been seeing stag energy, antlers, um, it's giving very cabin in the woods with, you know, antlers on the wall. Um, what else is here? It's, that's real, it's real solid about House, House of Baratheon. Not Stannis. Not Stannis, honey. Let me say, make it clear. Not Stannis. It's not Stannis. It's Rob. Rob Baratheon. Rob Baratheon, not Stannis and not my fucking um, not um, it's not even Cersei's um late husband, not Cersei late husband either. It's all about uh Robert, Robert Baratheon. Um, and I'm also getting, I'm getting Lady Elena, I'm getting Roses, Roses, Lady Elena. It's very noble, very noble energy, very noble, very well put together, noble, wealthy, sturdy energy. And then, of course, we have the Hierophant, pile number three. I'm getting, oh, what is this? This is very specific. I'm getting, oh, it's very specific, but it's so much going on. Honestly, with the Hierophant car, I think that it's, I think that what they're wearing is really ugly and that's throwing me off because the colors that they are wearing is giving me one vibe, but the actual design of the clothes is throwing it off because I think that those clothes are so hideous and I think that those stockings are so hideous, but the color of the, of the clothes is so much more rich and it's giving, um, I don't want to say it's not all black everything. It's um mm. what is that spirit? Say it like starched, starched or pressed. Fresh, fresh to death. Mm. Starched or pressed. If you recently, the cleaners, ooh, 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 that's sickening. It said, take it to the cleaners. Take it to the cleaners. I'm hearing um, power. Uh, power on stars. Power, power the series. 50 Cent series on stars. And yeah, it gives big 50 Cent energy. Big 50 Cent energy. It gives big ghost energy. Yeah, that's the vibe. I was trying to find that shit. That style was very specific. So, you know, ghost and ghost 
and that power aesthetic, sometimes it is it sometimes it is all black everything, but generally it's just like this sleekness, starched press, you know. Um, um, you know, um, I'm seeing I'm seeing wealthy, I'm it's specifically black wealthy people who it is, it's, and I'm not saying that you have to be black to hear this. You can be any race to hear this. You know, everybody is welcome here. But this specifically is very specific to um, the style of Ghost from Power, um, Power the Series from Stars, and it's this aesthetic of um, of black wealth. Um, but you know, there is that sort of uh, you know, that sort of, uh, lifestyle where, uh, you know, you plan a game, you know, you have a, 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 um, a front business to wash the money, but still all of that said, very, very political. It's very, it's very, um, authentic. It's very... Um, political, um, you know, I'm talking about, I'm talking about folks who, who know some people, know some people. If you've been talking about, it's not what you know, it's who you know. Third pile is definitely for you. Um, uh, um, suits, pressed suits, um, for women, it's, um, it's giving me, uh, it's giving me, if I had to say a clothing brand specifically as far as um, feminine energy, I would have to say it's Fenty. I would have to say it's Rihanna. It's Rihanna's luxury brand. It's definitely Rihanna's style. Uh, Swarovski, Swarovski crystals, um, uh, Escalade, Cadillac. Um, I'm seeing nightclubs. Um, I'm not getting into it. I'm not getting into it. There's a, there's a, there's a, there's a moment where I can grasp this thing at the root. Um, it's, um, mm, it's definitely that feel, that smell, that vibe of Ghost and Angela's relationship. Again, it's very political. It's very, the police are involved. Maybe you got some, um, if you've been thinking about paying the police off, you got it in good with the cops, you know. You just, you just got a lot of power. Um, power. I think I, I think I really nailed it when I talked about Ghost and Angela's relationship. Um, because it's not necessarily... It's not necessarily, you know, quote unquote, clean at all, but you definitely, here it is right here. Spirit said, if you, if somebody has told you or you feel as though, you know, if you feel as though you have done something that is not necessarily by the books, if you've done something recently that is not necessarily by the books, but you know that you are in the right. Or or it could be that it is by the books, but it's not common knowledge. You know what I mean? Um, you may understand the law in a way that you got somebody on you who's been messing with you. Somebody on you who's been messing with you and who's been bothering you, been telling you, oh, you not nothing, you not shit. But the truth is, or the reality is that whatever game it is that you're playing with this person, you understand the law much better than them and they don't get it. So you have to do what you have to do to, you know, for your well-being and for your stability. Um, I think that a lot of people in this situation would submit to this other person who's saying, oh, you can't do this. You can't do that. You can't do this. And. And, oh, nobody's going to believe you. And nobody's going to be on your side. But you know the law. And you know what's your right. I'm hearing inheritances also. Inheritances. 
law. I'm hearing lawyers. I'm hearing fair men. I'm hearing people in your corner, people in high places in your corner um, fighting for you. I'm hearing, I'm hearing people, um, I'm hearing people trying to report you to the police, but uh, um, the fucking, I'm hearing people trying to report, not even just the, the real literal police, but people talking shit about you behind your back, telling stories about you to other people, saying that you did this and this and this and that and that and that. But the reason why they're doing that is because they are scared. Because truthfully, they not taking care of what they need to get taken care of. And they just trying to scare you out of whatever situation or whatever type of promise or contract y'all have, have with each other. They trying to scare you out of it. But the reality is that you know the law and you know you're right. And so you're standing your ground so that you can get what's owed to you. That too, for all of these cards, the vibe is what's owed to you. Some Somebody owe you something. Somebody owe you some money. Somebody been taking some shit from you. Somebody has taken from you in life and it's not very apparent. But that shit is about to come out. It could be your time. Somebody's been taking your energy. Somebody's been emotionally abusing you or something. And and like God is saying in the spiritual realm that somebody owe you some shit. Okay, let's get into it. I really love all those vibes. Come on, pile number one. Pile number one, the Wheel of Fortune. Um, what do I think about when I think Wheel of Fortune? I do immediately think games. You have you have your freedom. You got your freedom playing with the games. You got the freedom playing the games. I'm hearing um, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Diversity, equity, and, and inclusion. That's it. They said that's it. Right there. You got it. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Let's pull some cards. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. They said take both of those. Diversity, equity, and inclusion. Diversity. What are we talking about today, honey? I said I'm tired. <laughs> this sounds like a conversation I don't have the motherfucking chops for. <laughs> Diversity, equity, and inclusion. I'm hearing ontology. I'm hearing um, metaphysical. I'm hearing where ontology and metaphysical is concerned with the law. Child, I said I'm tired, man. They got me on some bullshit. All right. We have the three of wands. Yup. I mean, that that really pans out. My God. Well, make it easy for me, spirit. Your present card is the nine of wands. Okay. Yeah. I mean, you know, <laughs> that be the situation a lot of time in these circumstances in your... Shit. And your future card. I saw this card jump out. I saw it trying to come out, but it came out with another card, and I said, Nah, that's too many cards. And but Spirit told me to get it. I said, Nah, that's too many cards, and here it is. That shit is crazy. All right, your past, your present, your future. I mean, this is pretty laid out here. I love the three of wands especially in this setting especially in this setting this is going to be a real quick one so i'm going to leave these right here i love the three of wands in this setting i i got a crush on the three of wands i'm not even gonna hold you the three of wands is so sexy i have a crush on the three of wands 
actually, I think it's the Two of Wands and the Three of Wands. Hold on, I gotta check this because it might be the Two of Wands that I got a crush on, but the Three of Wands is, I think it's still very similar. right away I'm pretty sure I think it's the two of wands that I actually find incredibly sexy yeah it's the two of wands actually that I'm thinking about but Mm, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, I don't need this book. It's actually both. Um, I think that the two of wands, if not the same person, that they are very related brothers, um, kind of right next to each other doing the same thing. Um, Ooh, I love that. I would I would expect this more for pile three, because this also gives me big ghosts, big power, big 50 cent energy. Um, it's just this vibe and this energy of preparedness, preparedness, tools, looking out to the future always. God. Omari Hardwick, Ghost, is just boom, right in my face. Boom, Ghost. I'm just seeing a headshot of Ghost. All I can see is those lips. Just a headshot of Ghost. Looking stern, looking forward. Boom, you know, it's just, uh, uh. Big, big wand energy. Big, ooh, <laughs> big Stick energy. Watch your mouth. Big stick energy. Big potential. Big, big Erica Badu. Say the block is hot. The trunk stay locked. The gun stay cocked. Big, big stick energy. Very ready. Huge potential. It's it's not even a lot of people, you know, there's this saying that people say, don't go by potential. Nah, this potential, you want to stick with this potential. A lot of people say, don't go by potential. Nah, this the type of potential. This 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 is this is if if there was any a group of people or a vibe to put your money on. It's going to be this group. It's not even a 9 out of 10 situation. This is a 10 out of 10 situation. And this is your past card. This is your past card. Spirit said, baby, you you, you was ne you never been 9 out of 10. We go 10 for 10. We go 12 for 10 over here. This is a hundred and a hundred and ten, a hundred and twenty, hundred and thirty, hundred and fifty percent. It's always it will always win and it's never gonna fail. And you achieved that long ago. You achieved that long ago. Spirit said recognize that, and that brings us to your present card. For some reason, you feel as if you're up against the world or you feel as though you have to fight. You feel as though you got to put your powers and your abilities down. Yeah, you can put your powers and abilities down. You can put your hat down for a second because ain't, ain't nobody here. And if there is anybody here, you're going to smoke them. 
So it's really nothing to worry about. This reading is very straightforward. Spirit is saying they want you to start moving in that strength. Spirit said it's tough. We know. Actually, I'm looking at this tornado back here. Spirit said it's tough. We know. We know it's a lot of shit that you're missing. We know it's a lot of bullshit that you're missing. But Wheel of Fortune, you already hit the jackpot. You was already the winner on Wheel of Fortune. You was already. <clears throat> I'm so sick of these folks in my life. I'm sick of my ancestors. I'm sick of Michael. I'm sick of Archangel Michael because this ain't nothing but Archangel Michael. I'm sick of his ass. They said, look, let us let us handle this. Let us do this job. They said, you don't even know what's going out here, going on out here. In these non-physical streets. You don't understand what's going on out here in these non-physical streets. They said, don't knock it. Don't knock it. You really don't understand what's going on out here in these non-physical streets. They said, we just at a moment where we just having to do some reconstruction. We reconstructing a highway. And, girl, listen to this message. This is for you to me this directly. This is like Channel 9 News. They said, listen, we are reconstructing the highway and we're about to be finished with it and it's not even summertime. They said, do you know the success, the success rate on that? They said, when have you ever seen somebody complete highway construction during the wintertime be finished by spring so that the road is complete? by summer. You never saw it before because it never happens. <laughs> they said, we are doing some real shit in these non-physical realities, these non-physical streets. They said that tornado back there is happening because, you know, that's just been the state of the world. For some reason, that, that's just been the that's just been the, the, the move. For some reason, that was the key to Everything that's happening right now. Let me look at this card closer. They said there's something up in this card. Ooh, wee. Baby, baby, baby. Now, remember, we always talk about, damn, they said, Deontay, look at that card. They said, Deontay, look at that card. Now, if the little kitty cats are freedom, if them little kitty cats represent freedom in a bag, if those little kitty cats represent Birkin bags, what do this motherfucker represent right here? God damn. They said this little motherfucker worth about 20, 30, 50,000. So what is this big motherfucker worth? They said we're going to need you to multiply that 30,000, that 20,000, that 50,000 by about 10, 11, 12. You got to understand that we doing some some heavy, heavy, heavy work in, not, in these non-physical streets. They said there was some heavy destruction. Oh, they said it was some heavy destruction that had to go down. We were we were plowing and excavating and uh uh, what's what 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 do, what do they call it when they use a jackhammer? We were using jackhammers and we were excavating and we were ripping up roads and ripping up um, paths. We were ripping up cement roads uh, constructed in patriarchal violence. We were ripping up roads um, constructed in in racism and inequality. We were, we were, um, we were tearing out roads that were made for, uh, whiteness. We were ripping up roads that were made for transphobia and we had to repave and re-cement roads. Lord, we had to repave and we had to re-cement roads and we put in brand new state-of-the-art roads that have 
guiding lights in them that have um, new technology and new innovations inside of them, um, new innovations that will help you see the road, um, a heated road so that the roads never become slick, you know, um, incredible technology in these new roads, incredible technology in the urban planning of the roads of these um, new non-physical realities that we are paving for you, for who you are, and for your margins, for your identity. Big bags. They say you got big bags. What I heard earlier, they said you already, you hit the jackpot. You were the grand prize winner on the Wheel of Fortune. You just haven't got your check in the mail yet. Chill out, it's coming. They said, chill out, it's coming. It's going to be there before you know it. And they said, you're not paying that many taxes on it. So chill out. Okay, then. All right, I'm going to put it away. I'm going to leave it alone. Ciao. Thank you, pile number one. Ciao. Ciao. All right, pile number two. The Emperor. I think we spoke about the emperor good and, good and well. Um, we spoke about the emperor good and well in the pile selection. One thing I do want to point out, though, is this German shepherd here. It is giving me um, big guard dog, big police dog energy. And I feel that I'm going to be talking about the police a lot in this reading. But unfortunately, um, I'm sorry to disappoint anybody who, um, you know, who want to talk about the cops as though they are pigs, you know, whatever, whatever. Yeah, they definitely are bad. They definitely are corrupt. But however, in this reading, for some reason, Spirit said, no, nah, I just told pile number one that spirit is crumbling, excavating. They using a jackhammer on old roads and old statues paved in patriarchal violence. They, they're tearing up and they're ripping up old roads paved in racism and old roads paved, paved in uh, transphobia. They have excavated those roads and recreated new roads, new structure and new urban planning specifically for your margins and that's the same thing that i'm hearing for this pile so yeah you know this german shepherd it it may i may be getting that it's some sort of represent, representation of a police or a guard or a cop but they said it's all for your benefit they said it's all for your benefit don't knock it and i already got um the ten of pentacles in your past position Let's see what's in the present. We talking big money today. Bullshit. Let me turn on this card. I think I hear more. Let me see. Is it that card? No, it's this card. I'm not seeing this card. And in the present. And in the future, yep, 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 makes sense. They said in your past, your past, and pile number two, this is going to be a quick reading as well, as well as pile number one was uh, quicker than usual. It said in your past, your past, you, you, you've already established a great amount of wealth and a great amount of loyalty in your past. Spirit said you might not feel like it. Spirit said you might think that you're lonely now, but that's not what's going on. Spirit said that's not real at all. Spirit said there's no, there's no reality to that whatsoever. They said make that very clear. Make it very clear. There is no truth and no basis to that 
whatsoever. You have, I'm getting a lot of you. If it don't resonate, don't take it. But I'm getting a lot of you, a lot of you, um, a, a lot of you want family, families. A lot of you want marriage. A lot of you want children, okay? Either way it go, regardless if you want romantic relationships or marriage or not, you want a sense of family. You want a, not even just a community, not even a community. You want a, you want a, you want an entourage, a loyal entourage. And when I say entourage, don't think about some yes men. Nah, this ain't about some yes men. This is, this is some, uh, when I'm talking about entourage here, I'm talking about some, uh, some Jay-Z Beyonce type. You know, you, you tend to hear a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot about other celebrities' entourage. And a lot of times those people come and go. But you think about um, Beyonce and Jay-Z team. I don't know what the fuck Beyonce and Jay-Z be doing to, uh, to keep people under lock. And, you know, to maintain the type of relationships that they, rely, that they retain. But they have some very loyal people around them. And that's the type of loyalty... We talking about here. This is this is this is not just a card about abundance. Spirit said this card is also talking about longevity. Spirit said, mm. Spirit said this is about your ancestry. Spirit said you've always had ancestors. You've always had a spiritual entourage that's been with you since before you were born. This is an eternal thing. This is an entourage that's been with you for many lifetimes in the past. Um, this is about a round table, uh, Knights of the Templar, shit, whatever the fuck that means. Um, Archangel Michael is definitely there. That motherfucker is rich, okay? If there's a kingdom in heaven, if heaven was the Game of Thrones, um, Michael, Archangel Michael would be would probably be I, I think he would probably be a night's guard. That's yeah, that's what I was just told. They said Michael is 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 God's um 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 what is the name for it? I can't think of the name for it right now. Whatever the head of the King's Guard. The King's Guard. Um Michael is like God's King's Guard. That's that's it of and that's an incredible incredibly high ranking um fucking elohim okay that's some that's some that's some big time stability that's huge ranking in the spiritual realm that means that 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 love is locked the fuck down solid gold lock that cannot be unlocked that cannot be tampered with that cannot be taken major sense of stability that was already written for you lifetimes ago. Not even just in this life. This is not even your past in this life. This is talking about your, and you have, you own papers in the spiritual realm. You are on papers in heaven. In your Akashic records, it's written on paper. The type of, the type of um, money and wealth that you're going to see in this lifetime because it's, it's stuff that you've earned in past lives. You just haven't accessed it yes, yet in this lifetime. But once you get back to that safe box and you see what's in there, it's going to blow your motherfucking mind. Present. Your present. And that's exactly what I was just talking about right now. This is you in the present right now. You, it's, you know, time is a very cyclical thing. It's not very linear. And so you kind of look like, is that the same motherfucker? That's the same motherfucker. That's the same asshole. Wow. This, that's this nigga right here. That's crazy. That's you. That is you. 
damn. He said, this is a portrait of your eternal family. This is this is this is some of your um some of your your granddaddy, grand grandmammy, grandpappy, mama or daddy or something like that. And your sibling over here. This is your loyal companion, your loyal dog. This if a if cats are freedom and bags. If cats are Birkins and Freedom and Ferraris and cars, if cats are wheels, then dogs are rocks, baby. That's about that's about solid loyalty. This is this is I'm telling you the promises that are promised here. This is this is concrete. This is this is something like you. This is something like somebody leaving something for you and they they uh, bury it and, and pay some cement over it. So it's like lifetimes go by. People come and go and they don't even never see or realize the treasures that are paved in the ground below them. But the city know it's there. The city know it's there and the city got records of it. The city know it's there, but it's it's entrusted. It's um it's it's a it's a landmark. And so the city even knows not to this is what I'm talking about. I don't know if I said it for this idea, I said it for this, I said it for this. The police know, the city know, the mayor know. The mayor, you you good here with the fucking mayor. In the spiritual realm, you good in. The spiritual realm knows you. The spirit realm knows your name. They know your family. They know your ancestors. The mayor in the spiritual realm, the uh, motherfucking city council, uh, town hall of the spiritual realm, they know your fucking name. They know your inheritances. They're getting ready to give you that shit because honestly, this shit, this shit is moving. This shit is shaking and it's moving. And we got new shit coming in. We paving new roads. We pulling this shit up. And when we pull this shit up, we see your name on it. We about to send you that shit. Because we tired of holding all this motherfucking money. It's actually doing us a disservice. <laughs> I'm hearing. It's actually throwing off the balance of things. Because we not supposed to have all of this. They said... We trying to get some other shit going, but we can't even get the funding that we trying to get because they talking about we got too much money because <laughs> we holding your shit. They said, come get your shit. <laughs> so that's what this, that's what this night is. Um, this, oh God, I got to get this. I said I got to get this thing right. I know it's kind of, it's kind of backwards. Like, Again, you may not feel like it because this is where you are, because you're the new generation. This knight can become a king, whether you identify as a woman or not, whether you identify as non-binary or not. Um, however you identify, this knight is going to become queen energy, and then it's going to become king energy. So right now you're just learning, but you still got to realize that even in, even in this night's um, greenness, and this, this night is not really that green. A night is a night. You have to have accomplished some incredible things to become a knight. It's not like you're the page. No, you're not the page. You're, you're the fucking knight. Now, you may have come up as a page in another reading or something, but in this reading, Spirit is letting you know, okay, there are some aspects of you that are not on page energy. There are some aspects of you that have reached the honor of a knight. I think I said earlier, Knights Templar, if I didn't say it in this reading, there isn't reason why, but you, you've got some notoriety here. You've got a seat at the table here. Um... Mm -hmm. But the thing is, yeah, you know, you, you you might be at this knight stage rather than the kings and queens that come before you. 
but you're about to go and find and discover even more abundance, loyalty, love, money, all of that. Spirit said is very important in this reading. I'm not going to try to tell you when. I just can't. I can't. I'm not even going to put that anxiety on myself or you. Okay? But the thing is to just know that it's there and it's coming to you. Spirit said something about the grapes. Look at the grapes. It said it takes time for the grapes to grow. Um, so they said if anything about time, they said we're just about at the time of harvest. That's all I'm going to tell. That's all I'm going to say for you. That's all I'm going to say for you. They said that, you know, the seasons, it may be out of season, you know, spring may have just started, but they said, really, technically, you've already had some shit growing throughout the winter and through this little bit of warm weather that we've had right now. So you're about to come into some shit soon. The future card for this pile. So apparently there is something that you want to do. There's something that you've been thinking about doing. They said, you know, you're right here on the ground and you've been running up that hill, running up that hill. You've been running up that hill to this point. They said, go ahead and take your leap. Go ahead and take your leap. You've got the cash. Not only do you have the cash, but you have the name. You got the cash. You got the name. Take that leap. Now, you might not have the physical cash. Spirit said for some of y'all, y'all might not have the spiritual cash. I mean, the physical cash, because Spirit said some of y'all do have the physical cash. Spirit said really what this reading is about is about some heart money. It's about how big your heart is. Do you have a big enough heart to jump and take a chance on yourself? You already got the things to back you up. All right, pile number two. Thank you very much for your time. I'm not going to sit here and say the same thing over with y'all. You better respect who you are and where you come from. And know that your ancestors are working for you. You're not working for them. All right. Pile number three. We got the Hierophant. We already discussed. This, um, this energy that's going on is very, it's giving power. It's giving power. It's giving ghost. It's giving 50 cent. Let's see what's going on. Everybody knows your name. Cause the world is your runway. Hey. Everywhere you go today. Cause the world is your runway. Past is temperance, temperance, and your present is the page of swords. Very nice. And ooh, I love it! 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 Was it not about money today? Was it not about big money? It was about big money. This is more so. Now, the past two piles have really been about um, established money, old money. Um, the past has been about, um, the past piles have been about um, uh, old money, already established money that, that they haven't realized. You, on the other hand, I'm not sure if you have, you know, something already owed to you or an inherent. Ooh, 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 ooh. They 
said, hold it, what did we already talk about? So we already talked about the fact that this is big um, ghost energy. This is big power energy, power the series on stars. This is big ghost energy. So you might not necessarily have had um, wealthy ancestors or wealthy past lives. You may just be breaking into this wealth in your most recent life, in this recent life that you have right now. And in this life, in the recent past of this life that you've been living in now, you've established an incredible work, work, work ethic. Spirit says whatever you've been working on, you really nailed it. You really become someone who is well known within your neighborhood, in your community, within your industry. Spirit said, if you don't know that, Spirit said, a lot of y'all may not be getting that recognition. Spirit said, a lot of y'all may not be getting that recognition. Spirit said, a lot of the times people may not be telling you that. People may be ignoring you. You may be someone who d does a lot of work creates a lot of content, creates a lot of art, um, creates a lot of work. You may have a job where you do a lot of work. Whatever your situation is where you are working on your craft, working on your career, working on your artistry, this may even just be about working on your spirituality. You may be around some haters, okay? You're probably surrounded by some haters who don't have what it takes to make the shable to to make the shable to make the table shake okay you are around some people who don't have what it takes okay to to celebrate with you to celebrate life with you because they know they don't have anything in their life to celebrate but Spirit said, Spirit said, you need to catch this. Spirit said, you need to catch this right here. Whatever you're doing that you're not getting no recognition for, Spirit said, that's the way that, that's the way that fame works. Most of the time, people are not even going to give you a recognition. Even when you reach a level of fame where everybody is talking about you, even in fame, when you're a hot spot in the tabloids at one point, Spirit said, even when you have that notoriety, you're still going to have a bunch of haters saying awful things about you. You know, you may be ready to drop something. You may be ready to drop a new project. You about to drop a new album. You about to do a, some sort of keynote presentation at work. You know, whatever that big project is that you're about to drop. It creates noise. People talk about it. People know who you are, even just based on the astrological energy. People know who you are. They may not talk about you. Oh, I love. Oh, oh, spirit is so messy. Spirit is messy. Spirit is messy. They said, listen, do you think that somebody who talks shit about you behind your back can then get online or go to any forum or go in any space and then congratulate you? Woo! Oh, they said these people can't congratulate you. They said you on your shit. They said you on your you 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 if if you not physically doing this work if you don't physically have this notoriety they said in these non physical streets and in these non physical realms you are well known at at spiritual equivalencies of like New York the New York Times at Vogue uh, at, at at Time Magazine. You're, you're being talked about as being the next person of the year. So people are talking about you, okay? It don't matter if it's good or bad. 
because the people who talking shit about you, the people who talking bad about you, that don't matter. That's honestly, that's the gas and the wind beneath your wings, baby. That don't matter. People don't realize that when they talk shit about you and when they hate on you, that is the air and the gas under you that propels you. That's the gas in your car. That's the gas in your tank that's moving you. That's moving you to the people who are actually going to say the great and amazing things about you. And those people are talking about you as well. It may not have been announced yet. That's what this present card is. He said it may not have been announced yet, but people talking about you, whether it's good or bad, it don't matter. But your name is about to be known. People are about to, Spirit said, the stars will tell your story. The astrology will tell your story. Spirit said, there are things that you have been saying that not that that it hasn't been so evident in the past. What you have saying, what you have been saying has been easily debunked because the stars haven't aligned with what you have prophesied. Spirit said, you're you've been creating projects and keynotes and speeches and essays and write-ups about certain events that are about to take place. And you've been warning people the way that the world is about to move. Spirit said, there are some things that are about to happen astrologically that are just going to shift society. And when those things happen, those events take place, they may be a little bit messy, but when the debris settles, everybody's going to realize that the shit that you have been talking about is going to make sense to them. And the ones who was hating on you, they're going to look, you know, they're going to look ignorant as hell. But the ones who've been with you are going to be able to stand by you and congratulate and celebrate with you. While the ones who talk shit about you are going to have to, they're going to be at your feet groveling. Like, oh, I've been, been with you the whole time. And everybody's going to see how fake and foolish and ignorant they've been. Now, this present card is exactly about, this present card is very much the energy of, excuse me, it's very much this energy of person of the year. So Spirit said, take a look around. It is maybe already happening. Um, and in these non-physical realities, if not in a physical reality, Maybe just in your spiritual growth. If it's not in a physical thing, Spirit says right now today, um, there have been some, some publications that have been printed where your face is on the cover. That's exactly what this card is. I ain't even got to explain that no more. Look at that. Look at, look, look at the freedom. Look at her freedom. They both looking right in the fourth wall. Bam. Hero shot. Cover shot, baby. Take a look in the camera. Everybody knows your name and the world is your runway. Come on. And that brings us to the future. It's no worries. It's no worries at all. Spirit said, tie in this hierophant card. We talked some big energy. We talked some big shit about this hierophant card. And Spirit said, so this whole spread, this the most important card right here is, is, that, is that magazine cover. Where, whether it's a physical notoriety or whether it's in a non-physical and spiritual interpretation, Spirit said, look around, find it today. Spirit said, if it's not well known, people are people are at home behind their computers. Spirit said a lot of people are trying to figure out the energy and what's going on right now. And all they can think about is you. Spirit said that people are trying to figure out figure out what's going on in the world because things have changed. And when they think about what's going on in the world, all they can hear is your name because you've been talking about this shit for the last two years, telling people to get their shit together, that this is what's about to happen. 
Spirit said, you are that company that nobody gave a chance. But until now, somebody is about to give you a chance. Spirit said, you are that company where some investors passed up on you. And now they're looking ignorant because you just made a company so much money. And you just made yourself so much money, so much abundance, so much love. So much security. And Spirit said, your next thing is, look, you worked in the past. Your work happened in the past. You, you did all the, you played all the games. You did all of the, um, you, you played all the games. You did all the, all the riffraff and everything. That was in your past. You've been working. You've been defeating bosses. You've been leveling up different stages. Taking out bosses. That's that, that's that power energy. You've been taking out bosses. Taking out haters. Spirit said, now you got that snapshot. Now you got that snapshot. I hear cameras clicking. You got that snapshot now. It's your time on the runway. You in the spotlight right now. Spirit said, your next step is celebration. You, you done. You, you about to take a vacation. Okay, if you was Beyonce, you did the work. Y'all been, you, y'all been doing the rehearsals. Y'all been doing the, um, during the rehearsals. You've been doing the recordings. You've been doing the press, the press tours, the rehearsals, the recordings, brainstorming and ideas. Talking to different publications for marketing. Making different deals. You've done all of that. Now it's time for the tour. You've been on tour. The tour is successful. The magazine covers have come out. The headlines have come out. It's getting rave reviews. You look amazing on the cover. Spirit said, now it's time for vacation, honey. You've been working hard. Now it's time for vacation. And while you're on vacation, the paycheck's going to start to come in from all of um, all them jobs that you did, all them different shows and whatnot that you went to, the, the, um, the, the revenue from the tour, from the, from the ticket sales that's coming in. You just made... A few million. Spirit said, hold out. They know you tired. Yeah, you're supposed to be tired. Look at everything that you just accomplished. Look at all the work that you just did. Yeah, you're supposed to be tired. And now here come your payoff. All right, pile three. I know I'm fucking tired. I'm about to go. It's morning time where, where I am right now. I'm about to go eat some breakfast. And, um. Uh, Probably watch some HBO. <laughs> I love y'all very much and thank you for your time. Thank you for sitting uh, in this reading with me. I really appreciate it. And, I, and again, I love you all.